Happy Sunday, everyone. It's Derek the Nitwit, and look, I remember to turn the pillow around this week. So today's going to be one of those lazy, no-pants kind of days. This past week's been a bit rough, dealing with the medication change and all the side effects that go along with that, plus having a flare-up of insomnia, and it doesn't help that I also fight sleep, thanks to FOMO. I do have a non-narcotic sleep medicine that I, could, I can take as needed, but I really don't like taking it just because the monstrous hangover effect the next morning. And even though I would absolutely love to fall asleep in a dead quiet room, I can't sleep if I get bored because then my mind gets too restless and I just won't lay there and, and go to sleep. So I listen to podcasts. They have if they have to be short but interesting because the interesting keeps my attention, but the short means I don't fight sleep just to hear what's coming up next. And lately I've been on a spooky story kick and thankfully – it's been decades since I've had a nightmare, or at least one that I can remember. That one last nightmare was about talking cows, no less. I finished Chuck's hat and scarf. I'm not sure how I like the pattern. I mean, the pattern's simple, and it's not an ugly pattern. I just, I'm not sure about the style of the hat, especially for Chuck, just because there's not really a brim to it. Um, and the scarf is probably shorter. I mean, it's folded in half still, but shorter than he's really going to want. He may surprise me and decide he likes it. Anyway, I'll give him the option. If, if he likes it, you know, he can have it. If not, it'll just go in the donation pile. I have started a second hat and scarf set for him, and that's from a knitting pattern that I've used before that I really like. I'll include the link to the pattern in the description below. One of the people that I attend my Monday group with they go to a church that is handing out care packages to homeless people in the area. So I'm going to be taking all the hats and scarves I've got finished to her so she can pass them on to the church for them to hand out. I'm going to take a bit of a break on crocheting hats and I'm going to work on other projects for a bit. I have found a few easy crochet plushies on lovecrafts.com. So I want to try some of them out. Plus, you know, I can always donate plushies when I'm done with them. Tuesday, I'm taking that private cro crochet class with my sister, and I found her a few patterns that will be simple enough for her to make so we can make sure she understands the patterns and the process before the class is over. We, she did finish her first loom knit scarf by following the tutorial I posted last week. I'm proud of her. She picked up the better from the tutorial than she did the day that we were working on it in, in person, but she also probably wasn't quite as tired. And I am excited for her to learn to crochet. This is going to give her more skills and open the door to so many more projects she's going to be able to do. Plus, once we get her going, maybe I'll be able to convince her to go with me to that fiber arts group that's in a couple towns over. I haven't been able to go in the past couple months just because of transportation issues. And, I mean, it would be nice going to the group again, but also be nice, you know, getting her involved in some social things as well because – she can be about as much of a hermit as I can, but she doesn't like being the hermit. So basically my goal for today, besides clearing out some of my YouTube watch later queue, is to work on trying to learn the Chinese waitress cast-on method and continental knitting. And I use a long tail cast-on right now, but it gets a bit frustrating because even though, you know, you're supposed to, you kind of measure out your cat, you know, the cast-on stitches before you actually cast them on, I never end up with the right length. I mean, it's usually way too long and I end up wasting a decent amount of yarn that way. So hopefully the, this new cast on method will make it a lot easier for me. So I hope everyone has a good week. Be careful if you're traveling for the holidays. I'm, my plan is I'm going to go out with my sister and my nephew. We're going to Golden Corral for Thanksgiving. So I'm not ready for the incessant Christmas music to start though. And other than that, this week is going to be fairly low key, chilling out at home, playing with the cats, watching a whole lot of YouTube, and avoiding the crowds because it's that time of year that I really don't like going to Walmart anymore. And I'm definitely not going anywhere Friday. So, and next week, a week from tomorrow, so not quite next week, is my birthday. I'm going to be 44, which means on all the surveys where they put you into the age group, 
this will be my last, a lot of them do like age 30 to 44 and then from like 45 on up. So it's about to be my last year before I have to move up to a new age bracket. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm definitely older than I think I am half the time. I, I'm too immature. I forget how old I actually am. I never act my age. So, but anyway, that's just my quick little update. And just let me know, you know, what your plans are for, I almost said for Halloween, for the holidays and what projects you're working on. And I'll see you again in a couple days.